was in there under the sheet. He didn't know what was going on. Well, hearing all the loud noises and all, all the glass breaking, you know, just get a little bit scared, but you have to deal with it. There's a job that needs to be done. It's important to have someone inside reassuring the patient trapped inside when he hears all the noises and he has no idea of what they are and, and when he feels the car jump a little bit when the door is popped open and stuff. He needs to have someone in there to reassure him that he's not he's not in danger, that we're just getting him out and he's going to be all right. Three cars around, Bob. Yeah, once it was opened up, there was plenty of room to move around. He was just waiting there until the car was opened up so that we could get out, which was a little nerve-wracking to keep the patient calm and to keep him safe and keep us safe. Because Steve was there holding on to his neck so that he wouldn't move. Ready? You know, it's, it was amazing that it did take a while to do all the immobilization and the whole extrication process. But when we got to the hospital and he was still, you know, he was alert and conscious. And the, um, the nurses said that we did a great job getting him there and that we had to take that extra time. It was really nice, and we got such good feedback from them. How's the 